Hey guys, it's Narelle here, and welcome back to a new video. I have been heavily requested to do a hair tutorial for the longest time, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to make it and kind of just tell you guys how I do my hair. I did write down some tips that I kind of use when I decide to do hair. So, um... My first one is that it depends on what type of hairstyle your character has. Once you kind of decide, hey, I want my character to have this hair, it makes it a lot easier so you can just go on Google and just reference the hairstyles that closely matches that hair that you want to make your character have. And once you kind of find a good reference... Um, you have to understand the basic principles that makes that hairstyle that hairstyle. So, um, I'm going to do an example. I'm going to do traditional bangs and an emo hair fringe. So, with traditional bangs, the basic principle is this is the bang. And you have the hair coming like this. For the emo fringe, it's basically like this. And then one eye shown. And then you just, again, compliment the face and, you know, make it yours. So that's basically what I mean by understanding what, um, how the hairstyle is the hairstyle. The next tip is once you got the basics down, um, just style it up. Make it you. And the last tip basically is do not put your hair in your character's eyes because the eyes is what people notice the most but that's basically the gist of how i go about hair so for this video i will be using papa nice show as the example because he has very fabulous hair so i will go into how i draw papa nice show's hair Alrighty, so now we're on the part where I basically draw Papa Naisho's hair. So if you guys have not seen my character Papa Naisho, he has long, fabulous hair. So, um, basically his bangs is kind of like an emo fringe, kind of not, but they basically kind of warp around his head and then they come down to make a very long braid. So for his hair part, I normally start it like right here so I have enough room to give him a bang. So I'm just going to sketch this out. Um, I, I actually go about my hair in a very simple approach because a lot of people do like really detailed hair and that's really not my thing personally. If you guys have a really detailed way of going about hair you probably will not like my way of doing it because this is very simple but as you're seeing me do i'm actually um i'm basically trying to put his hair in a way where i can avoid getting it into his eyes so um nice shows bangs basically just come down to his um ears because again i really don't want his bangs to intermingle with his face so with this side with papa nice show i leave it as an extra curved line because this is how his bang forms so um i typically do a little cute alfalfa to kind of mark the end of the bang and where the hair actually comes from so um i basically do a curved line and then i do another curved line and then i kind of chunk it up which is basically split it into multiple chunks and then I make it curve here and then for his other side I do another curve line but I actually make this line kind of have its own strand so it's just not one blob and I make it come down like this and, um, braids are typically, like, little diamond shapes. So, um, since, since this part is first, I do that part. With braids, you really want to, like, not be repetitive with it. You really want to be opposite. So, if this is the start point, you want to make that the start point. And his braid really isn't that long, so... 
I typically just make it like this. And then he has a band that keeps his hair together. And then for the rest of the hair, I just kind of make it a cute little fluff. And then I kind of style it up to kind of make it interesting. And that's basically it for how I do Papa Naisho's hair. Um, I, again, with me, I do it very simple. And then I use my coloring to bring out the hair so I don't have to add a whole bunch of strands to bring it to, um, to make it have a lot of detail. So, um, I'm actually going to line it because, um, I, it'll give you a chance to see how I actually line my hair. And then I will actually color this just to kind of finish off the picture because I hate having like um blank drawings and I'm just gonna make this like come here because I don't feel like drawing clothes today so now we're in the line art portion of this video and I'm actually using a stabilo liner because I've been really into these liners lately so um yes and I'm using like a really dark red so I'm gonna zoom this in one more time so you guys are a lot closer to the actual drawing so um how I line my my hair is very similar to how I draw my hair so I'm just gonna line his bangs to kind of give you a example so um with my line art I basically follow the hair itself I think everyone basically kind of says that just follow how you drew it and it makes your life a lot easier so um a lot of people said to you they say to use your wrist when you line, but I do not do that, so do not follow my bad habits, <laughs> because I have really bad drawing habits, and I hit my phone, I'm sorry, but um, when you line, just use your wrist, and it makes your hand feel a lot more comfortable when you line. Alright, so I basically got this part lined, as you can see right here, and this is a optional thing if you guys want to add this or not, so I pretty much think this is kind of bland to leave it as this one little chunk, so I typically add a little strand here to kind of make it look more detailed, if you will. So that's basically what I do with lining my hair. I actually will try to do more of his bangs for you guys in real time. Because I feel like with speed paints, you really don't get the effect of how artists draw. I can't really promise a lot of real time stuff, but I will try when I do my sweet paints to have a portion of the video in real time because I think it'll be really cool for you guys. So, um, yee. And I hope you understood what I was saying because I do not word words correctly and a lot of people can do these tutorials way better than I can. With the alfalfa, I typically do not follow the pencil line that I did it. So that kind of turns out a little bit different. And again, please do not follow my bad drawing habits. Alright, let me finish this part of his bangs. And then his braid, I pretty much add extra lines so the braids don't look too bland, in my opinion. So, yeah. That's basically how I ink my hair. So, I'm just going to ink the rest of it in real time in a speed paint. <laughs> and I'll come back to you guys when the line work is actually finished.
guys so i am done with the line art it actually turned out pretty cute i actually didn't go as far out as i wanted to with that because i didn't want his hair to look very chunky but as you can see here i added some like fray strands because your hair really isn't all compact it together like this it does fray out a little bit so i'm going to erase all of the pencil lines so you guys can kind of see pop and i show and a blank state so as i erase my pencil lines you can kind of see that my line art is still very simple but it gives the effect that I want with my hair. Let me erase this. And the eyes are, they still have pencil in them, but it's okay. All right, so that is it for the line art and pop and I show. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. You know, I suck at words, but I hope you guys got the majority of what I wanted to say. And his neck looks like it's really thick. I don't know why, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, like I said, um, if you guys want any more tutorials from me, let me know. So, um, thank you guys, which is Ramona and Totally Soulless for requesting this video. I'm going to put his name right beside here, so you guys know who he is. There we go. And if you guys don't know who Papa Nice Show is, he's Naru and Naru's Papa. So I call him Papa Nice Show. Originally, I just called him Nice Show, but I think Papa Nice Show is like more fitting. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video. And I will put how this turned out finished at the end of this clip, so you can see the full effect of how Nice Show looks in his precious state. So thank you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.